All right, so what we got here is the Finwing Penguin with the Vector installed. Now this uh, Vector came out of my last Crash Penguin um, and had an issue with the Artificial Horizon uh, record flat level. Anyway, so what I've done is I've installed it, and you see now it's already set up flat and level. And what I'm going to do is go back here, and the plane is pretty uh, flat and level right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record it because it's installed. I'm going to record flat level. I've gone and put a bubble there and I measured the wingtips and I put um, uh, level in on the uh, bottom of the wing. So the plane's pretty much level. So what I'm going to do is hit this button and record flat and level. Okay. So now it's recorded flat and level there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is go in and plug in. I'm going to have to unplug this. Okay. So we know that that's recorded flat and level. Okay. So what we'll do is close that out, disconnect so that I can turn the radio on. And now what I'm going to do is plug in the airplane. Okay. So what you'll see is I got a video. Okay. Um we have video and that one says stabilizer using menu gains. Okay. That goes away. I'm in 2D. I think I'm gonna record this also on my uh DVR. If I can get the DVR to work. There. So I'll record everything on the DVR. So this would be like a fresh plane, and I have all my trims on my radio. I don't know if you can see it, but they're all centered. Trim center. Okay. Trim center. Trim center. Okay. So all the trims are centered. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go in and you'll see where the control surfaces are now. So this is with stabilization off. You can see I've zeroed out the uh, trim. Okay? Everything is zeroed and flush. Now what we're going to do is go into the main menu and I'm going to ink I'm going to incorporate uh, the trims. Okay. So what we do is, I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but go into the menu. Now I'm going to go down. Stabilizer settings says incorporate trims. Right. It says that click the mode switch to save the trims. So there, incorporated the radio trims into the stabilization. Back out of there. Um, back out of there. Okay. Now, everything's been set. So everything's been trimmed. So let's see what happens when I go to 2D mode. Look at that. I wonder why. So you'll see. The control surface when I go, it's in not stabilized 2D. See it move up? Okay. So watch the control surface. Went in 2D mode. 
So here I am. You'll see switching to 2D. Okay. And you'll see this. I haven't moved the plane at all. So watch control surface. So it's kind of hard to see. But that's stabilization off. See how it's nice and uh, level. Now I'll go to 2D mode and it moves. So the plane hasn't moved and I incorporated the trims so I don't know why it's doing that. Let me go back to stabilize and now I'll run the servo analysis wizard. Okay so we're back again after running the receiver analysis wizard um, and so where we're at is I've already recorded flat level trim with it in the plane and the plane being uh, leveled out, okay? And then I um, trimmed it, centered everything, so that when you go to 2D stabilize, for some reason 2D stabilize, I'm incorporating the trims and you'll see the control surface moves. That's 2D, and that's normal. It should incorporate the trims. I'll try it again and incorporate the trims and let you see. I'll go down, incorporate trims. There. So now that I've incorporated the trims, right, in 2D stabilized, the plane hasn't moved. It's in. Uh, Manual stabilized. See how it goes up? Goes up. This one goes down. And you'll see the elevator. So this is trimmed uh, with stabilization off. There. The elevator goes down in 2D stabilized. Going down. Haven't budged the plane. The plane isn't moving whatsoever. So here's stabilization off. You'll see the edge is trimmed. And then 2D. It moves. The plane isn't moving. It shouldn't move at all. So anyone has any uh, idea? I appreciate it. All right. Bye.